It all comes down to the angle of our knitting needles. Apparently, we form looser stitches when our needles are almost parallel to each other when we wrap the tip of the right needle with the yarn. So they look about like this. And we work tighter when our needles form a right or even acute angle. So how can we use this information to fix our problems with the knitting tension? So if your knitting tension is too tight, if your stitches are so small that you struggle to get into the stitch, then try to keep the needles almost aligned as you knit and purl. So when you knit a stitch, go into the stitch, then wrap the needle with the yarn, keeping the needles almost parallel to each other and then uh, pull the wrap through, slip the yarn off the left needle and uh, don't change the angle too much. So it should be about like this. And you do the same when you purl a stitch. You bring the yarn to the front, then you insert the tip of the right needle into the stitch, keeping this uh, really obtuse angle. And then uh, wrap the needle with the yarn and pull the wrap through, creating a new stitch. Uh, if your knitting tension is too loose, so if your stitches are really loose on the needle and you would like to improve that, then uh, keep the needle at a right angle to uh, the right needle to at the right angle to the left needle when you work a stitch. So when you knit a stitch, you would keep needles like this. You would go into the stitch, then wrap the needle with the yarn, pull the wrap through, keeping that angle in place and then slip the stitch off the left needle. And when you purl, you would try to keep the same kind of angle like this. See, you try to keep the right angle and then uh, purl a stitch. When your tension is uneven and then you get those gaps like these ones you know, on the wrong side of the work, so that was my issue with the tension, then uh, try to understand whether your knits are looser than your pros or your pros are looser than your knits. A way to, uh, to test this is explained in the tutorial that you will find at tenrosaday.com slash fixing dash gap. So if you know that your pro stitches are looser than your knit stitches, then keep the needles aligned when you knit a stitch like this and keep the needles at a right angle when you purl a stitch. If you know that your knit stitches are looser than your purl stitches, then do the opposite. Keep the needles at the right angle when you knit a stitch and keep the needles almost parallel to each other when you purl a stitch. And then your knitting tension will look much better. I haven't tested this little trick to see whether it works equally well when we use the English knitting style. Even though I can knit with the yarn in my right hand, I don't do it fast enough to uncover any inconsistencies in my knitting tension. So if you usually knit using the English knitting style and you'd like to improve your knitting tension, please give this little technique a try and let me know whether you noticed an improvement. To read this tutorial as a set of step-by-step -step photo instructions, go to tenrosaday.com slash fix dash knitting dash tension. To download it as a PDF, join the club at tenrosaday.com slash club. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next tutorial.